GAMS and MATLAB, GDX MRW tools, IRGDX and IWGDX. GDX MRW provides the facilities index read and index write of a GDX file, which will be the topic of this video. The IRGDX and IWGDX provides a quick and easy way to transfer data between MATLAB and GAMS. In this video, we will modify the transport example so that the input data is read from MATLAB and the GAMS output is read into MATLAB. Open MATLAB. Note that in another video, we show how to set up MATLAB for GAMS. In the command window, type system GAMSLib transport. This retrieves the transport model from the GAMS model library. Type edit transport.gms to open the model in an editor. Let's replace the data in the GAMS model with the same data, but this time the data sits in MATLAB. We can replace set names with indices because IRGDX does not allow alphabetic set labels. A index number refers to a city, and in the explanatory text field of a set element we denote the city. However, we can also read the set definitions from MATLAB and therefore we can simply comment out the set definitions. Next, we comment out the data for symbols A, B and D. Furthermore, we replace the keyword table with parameter to allow an empty data definition. We also remove the fright cost definition F. Next, we create a new MATLAB script that we'll call the GAMS program. Type edit transport underscore driver dot M. To see the both files simultaneously, go to the menu, view and click left right. We type the input data for the plant capacities A, then we define the market demand B, I use copy paste to define D, the distances between the cities, then the fright cost F, that is a scalar. Next we write the data into an index GDX file with IWGDX. The set elements of an index GDX file are numeric. This means, for example, that a set label like New York needs to be replaced with an index, in our example with number 1. In the command window, type help IWGDX to get information about the tool. Type IWGDX M to G and then specify the symbols. M to G is the GDX file name and denotes MATLAB to GAMS. Each symbol is given as a string and therefore surrounded by quotes. Furthermore, the symbols are separated with a comma. Type GDX whose M to G in order to see an overview of the GDX file content. Note that after a symbol it is optional to specify the dimension. For example, we can specify f colon 0 to explicitly specify that symbol f is a scalar. f colon 1 would specify that f is a vector, in other words a one-dimensional parameter in GAMS. However, in this example the default behavior gives the result that we want. We can now run the model. Now let's turn our attention back to the GAMS model. After the data declaration, we read in the data from the GDX file. Type $GDX in M to G, which opens the GDX file for reading at compile time. Type $load IDX A B D F, which loads the specified elements from the GDX file. Note that a index load loads implicitly the index sets I and J. Type $GDX in to close the GDX file. We can now run the GAMS program from MATLAB. Type system GAMS transport LO equal 3 and then run the MATLAB script. Next, let's increase the demand in New York from 325 to 350, as well as include the ability to specify the GDX input file name via the GAMS call. Let's rename the GDX file to M2G2. Add dash dash gdx in equal m to g2 to the GAMS call. Dash dash gdx in defines a control variable. m to g2 is the value of the control variable. In the GAMS program, type dollar if not set gdx in dollar set gdx in m to g. This will set 
the default value for the control variable to m to g in case the user does not specify the control variable. On the next line, we need to replace m to g with percent %gdx in percent in order to use the file name specified by the control variable gdx in. Run the program and note that the total cost has now increased. Next, let's write the result into an indexed gdx file. Be aware that we cannot write variables directly into an indexed gdx file. However, we can transfer the variable levels into a parameter and write the parameter into a gdx file. Let's say that we want to have access to the shipment quantities x in MATLAB. In the GAMS model, let's declare parameter xval with domains i and j after the solve statement. Assign the variable level of x to the two-dimensional parameter xval. We use the dot l to refer to the variable attribute activity level. Type execute unload id x g to m xval. Execute unload id x writes a gdx file at execution time. g to m is the file name and stands for GAMS to MATLAB. XVAL is the parameter name that is written to the GDX file. Let's now turn to the MATLAB script. Type IRGDX G to M to read the content of the indexed GDX file. Then type XVAL to display the value. Run the MATLAB script to view the result. Additionally, in the command window, we can type type transport.lst. This will display the listing file. Here we can find, for example, the sole summary as well as error messages in case we have done modeling mistakes. If you are using Windows, then you can type system start GAMS IDE g to mgdx This will open the GAMS IDE, where you can also view the GDX file content. Additionally, we note that we can find example models from the GAMS Data Utilities model library. The examples are available online from the GAMS website as well as by calling the GAMS system from MATLAB. Type system datalib followed by the model name in order to retrieve a model from the GAMS Data Utilities model library. Furthermore, be aware that indexed GDX files do not support alphabetic labels or variables. However, GDX MRW tools RGDX and WGDX supports this. However, this is not covered by this video. In summary, in this video we have modified the transport example so that the input data is read from MATLAB and the GAMS output is read into MATLAB. We have accomplished this by using IRGDX and IWGDX, that is, index read and write of GDX files.